his password and his Wi-Fi was on it. Oh! You have to you have to clarify. It's my Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi yeah, password. Wi-Fi wi password. So yeah, it, it's also for Chinese New Year when people come in. So I don't need to repeat to every single one of them. Right, because that's 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 a common question. It's like, hey man, what's your Wi-Fi password? Just talk on the whiteboard, lah. Yeah, I don't even need to talk. I just put I just put my finger up and point it right there. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so uh, the game is starting now. So the game between uh, so right now it's uh, Johnny Sims against the four pen, the four pros and one new. So starting off the game, um, Johnny Sims takes away the Azir, the Javan fourth, and the Morgana. And to follow up uh, on the right side, uh, sorry, the, the four pins, they take away the Garen, the Yasuo, and the Echo. So I believe this is the second time we've seen a Garen ban. So it's either, the, I think it's still, I think it was first banned by the four pin as well. But, it, well, it shows that they're not interested in playing against such a character. It's kind of nice to see some familiar faces like, you know, Triple Z, Triple X, Triple C, <laughs> and uh, Kaiser Picker. Oh, Kaiser yeah. Picker, Kaiser Mid Picker locking into the Callista again, <laughs> but this time oh, we know. Yeah. But this time we know they are actually going to be uh, the, the Kaiser Picker at least is going to be the support instead. Unless something changes, yeah. uh, that's gonna that's gonna stick to it. They're gonna stick to that I, for I now. Highly doubt so. Yeah, they're gonna go for the same. Comp highly likely. Yeah. 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 yeah from, and I heard that. You know, Johnny seems are uh, really doing their research on this. They 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 they're really gonna put some thought into what they're gonna pick. Ooh. So hopefully, it can actually be a big counter towards uh to towards four pin right here. They gotta set it up so they can knock them down. Joker exactly. love way there was hovering the Olaf, but in the last second, swap it over to Rexai. Have we figured out which one was the noob? <laughs> we figured <laughs> out that they lied, and we? none of them were the noobs. No, 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 we have to find out, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, how about this? Uh, once the entire, like, we're gonna watch these three games. Once the, the entire game's over, we're gonna ask them, okay? For like a very... I don't know if you have any more energy to, like, to, to, to talk to us. Hopefully you do. But I'm gonna have my money on, uh, on Nug G. Now, I, from, from the start, I think Nug G is the new. Ooh, I don't I just think so. Alright, alright, okay, so let's take let's just take take our stance here. Alright, Mo, he calls for Nakji. What about you? Who's the noob here? Ooh. Okay, definitely not the team captain. Uh triple Z, triple X, triple C. Uh I have a feeling it's Joker. Ah, the Joker. Mm -hmm. I'm actually team. I'm actually thinking something similar, but if we look at the names, the one that that reads the that that showcases the noob the most is the Kaiser Picker to me. <laughs> <laughs> so my my money's on Kaiser Picker right there. All right, so uh, as 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 fun as we are having distracting ourselves, um, the game uh, the lock in, uh, the lock ends. Continue, continues on as a Nautilus and Kaisa is taken by the left side. Nautilus clearly taken away from the Callista uh, as they have a very strong com uh, combo if they if Nautilus is given away. And on the right side, um, the ZXC takes away the Silas. Follow up by a. Uh, I don't need more enemies. Wow, my brain, I actually forgot what that character is called. Aatrox and Vladimir <laughs> getting banned away <laughs> from the right side and a. Senna and Leona taken away from the left. You know, I'm actually uh, quite happy that Aatrox was uh, banned, and, and and not because you know of any specific strategy, but because it's nice to see a refreshing uh, team comp. Like the last Aatrox. game. Like oh yeah, well the, la <laughs> <laughs> the last game was uh, different. You know, it, there was no Aatrox, but uh, yeah. It wasn't as fun. <laughs> it's it's a refreshing but yeah. in a different level. Yeah. Alright, so um oh follow up um Ooh a Brom Ooh. Locks in. Oh congratulations and Mohawk gets his wish. We will be seeing a Pantheon game today. So why the Pantheon? Um any any volunteers that wanna take away this part? Oh no, you go first and I'll and I'll tell you why I'm excited so everybody who's watching me is up to date on my enthusiasm. No way, you're just gonna nod at whatever I say. Regardless, their lock-in on Pantheon is 
an interesting pick right here so they told us that they had a strategy so the last time we seen them they were pick it, playing it so they were taking it slow a step at a time but now locking in the pantheon they're telling us that we are going to win this aggressively we are not going to give them a chance to realize that we're coming in hard we're going in strong with the pantheon followed up by the, at least another strong early game char uh, character so looking at this game pantheon is definitely going mad and i i'm looking forward to pantheon making big plays going down top and going down bottom as uh the theme uh, as the game goes on but one thing i want to point out specifically is that the Callista and the brom combo so Callista, she oh she most likely will take hell of blades down to the bot lane and when a brom when the brom lands his winter's bite um Callista will be able to jump in and quickly proc the concussive blow so that is a very strong thing a, a very strong uh, composition coming into the bot lane so I really hope Johnny Sins will be able to make a turnaround here. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely excited because uh, although I don't have Pantheon on my Garena account, but when I'm playing on the NA server, when I discovered the wonders of Pantheon, one of the reasons I'm excited is I want to learn exactly how to play better. And also, secondly, I know for a fact that the Pantheon can be used as a jungler, but more of a jungler hunter. You know, he spends a lot of the time in enemy territory and he goes after the enemy's jungler. Uh, instead of stealing away um, buffs, he's literally killing the jungler early on, you know, and, and making use of the deficit to, uh, to get ahead. Right. So uh, another thing that I, I'm not sure if you do this, um, but Pantheon is a very strong uh, turret diver. So if he goes in, oh, he takes too. the initial <laughs> um, turret hits, he can easily just use his shield or I don't, I don't remember what it's called but like the shield skill where he like just pokes a lot yeah and he just pokes in every single direction yeah yeah, yeah. yeah he's, and he's, he's that, that. It, it, when pointed in the right direction you can deny all the damage coming in from that direction and looking at uh the pantheon lock-in he's he really uh, i'm really uh, sorry not only the pantheon the pantheon and the elise lock-in i'm really looking forward to a lot of uh turret dives in this game Oh, 100%. We're definitely going to see some pretty interesting action from the Pantheon, uh, especially since he's not a hero that we saw a lot of in previous games. But uh, you're right about aggressive strategy that Johnny Sims is uh, going to be adopting at this point. All right, as we are going into the game, there will, there will always be a three-minute delay. Uh, I want to point out a, li uh, a little... A little critter there, a little yordle that we haven't seen at all, uh, the clad. So, oh wait, I just realized something. They changed their, they changed their team. Um, Joker is not part of the pre uh, of the uh, of the team that we saw this um this afternoon. Because uh, oh. ZXC was supposed to be the AD, but now he is rotating towards mid and Nagji going up to top. I didn't notice that at all. Yeah. <laughs> wow, so okay. So this changes. I wouldn't say everything, but I, I'm not sure if uh, how the game progressed throughout the day. But for us, it seems like they're, they're swapping out the lanes. They're playing or they're, they're changing around um, the members. Although they are very high um, in terms of skill level, but as soon as you leave a lane for another, it's um you need to get used to that lane. So moving mm. from the ADC to the to the mid lane, he might be familiar already. No wor I, we, we might have been worrying about nothing, but to a certain extent, it might or might not be his strong suit. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, uh, and I was talking about the, the clad. So the clad, um, locking in here, the clad is a very strong engage and for the uh, for the Orn, he won't be having some uh, he won't be having any sorts of fun as clad is a strong bruiser will be jumping in a lot and would be taking out um, the Orn if the Orn is not careful Alright, so right now the first is uh, switching screens to the loading screen now. Ooh, full metal pantheon he got the nice skins too Lo <laughs> You love, you Really? You like this skin too? This is like the first skin I got on the original Pantheon, of course. But I, I got no skins on my Pantheon, so Aww. any skin from no skin is good skin. <laughs> okay, but after the rework, I wouldn't say I'm still in love with the full metal Pantheon look. But on the old one, 
it was, I don't know if you've seen the splash art for it, it was really just a Spartan in a full armor suit, and that, I was in love with that one. Right now, they okay. change it to a galactic, uh, galaxy look to it, although it's, it looks great, but nothing beats the old one. I really love the old one. I'm going to have to Google what it looks like. I don't know, you, 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 you've... Yeah, I'll drop it to you. Well. <laughs> All right. Google old Pantheon full metal. Full metal Pantheon. <laughs> oh yeah. Sounds like a really cool uh, uh Wait, can 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 you can you record that so I can like put it out as my ringtone? <laughs> sure, no problem, you know. He climbs mountains. So this is a splash art of it. Oh, uh, it's on the Discord by the way. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna check it out right now. Hold on. And the other one is the in-game model. Looking through, looking through. Can you find it? It's in the uh, the event, please. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, you were you looking at all chat? I I was looking at all chat. I was wondering ah. where you. Oh. Dude. Exactly, you get the vibe. There's, now, after the rework, they certainly change up his um his look to it. But really, I just really love the original one. Oh wow, this is like as if the the movie three hundred went all cyberpunk. I know that. Look, oh God, I, so, I can see. I can see why you're disappointed. Yeah, it the the new look, the new art. Nah. Nah, not, yeah, exactly. A huge nah. Alright, so both teams are playing aggressively. They are gathering five together. Now, let's see who is the team with more patience right now. Wait, wait, what is going on? Look at that. The red team is really going deep into enemy territory, not finding anybody. They're looking to catch them off in, in, in the current position. So if... Oh, same goes for the blue team. The blue team... <gasps> what? The blue team doesn't know. Okay. Oh no, they're making a chase! Oh my god! They're missing each other by oh, a little bit. Okay, Orin gets spotted. They see him. They see him. It's the start of the fight. Orin gets taken down almost immediately. Looking for a strong engage here. Nagji will... Oh, never mind. Jokalov takes down the Elise. This is going horribly for Johnny Sims. As five, all five of them goes down in the first, first minute and a half. Wow! Wiped out. <laughs> that was so unfortunate for Johnny Sim. They really had no clue what was gonna happen, and neither did uh the four pins right there. But I guess he was, you know, time really has to play his part there. It was really all about the patience. So whichever team sees who first, they will win the fight. So in that, in in this case, um, four pin was able to spot out the orn, and they quickly regrouped. And they, they took down the orb almost immediately. Oh, apparently I got it wrong. The Pantheon is headed towards top lane. Um, and the Clad goes towards mid. Oh, this removes a quite a bit of the mobility. But I presume it's just due to how um, the Silas went top. And the Orn not, being, uh, not wanting to go up against the Silas chooses to just go there. Uh, to, to head down to mid. I would definitely have to agree with this decision. I mean, the Pantheon is very good in the top lane, especially in terms of, uh, you know, clearing the minions. It's minions in this game, right? Is that what you call them? Am I yeah. getting that? Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, Turret yeah. minions. All right. Oh, <laughs> Kazenitsu takes a huge hit coming in from the Silas. You can't fight the Silas, especially when he has such a huge amount of heal. And to reply Hydro there, yeah, uh, yes, both teams have played today, but um, we are currently in a tiebreaker situation where we have to figure out which team will be moving on to the playoffs tomorrow. So for now, uh, this game will be uh, Johnny Sims against 4pin. Oh, and Ultraman being caught out quite a bit. Ooh, we'll be able to get out Ooh. of the situation. So last just uh, extending a little too far there. Oh, not really. He is putting some pressure onto the uh, Kazetnitsuo. Kazetnitsuo can't really outfight him. So he ha he him 
stepping in this much is just to try to secure um, some farms if they do come in and wants to keep some pressure on the Pantheon. Oh no. Oh no, the Pantheon's in a couple of hits. Oh, very nice. Oh, we'll there. survive that with a <laughs> flash. Oh, emotion though coming oh, in oh, from oh, behind. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Oh! Oh! We'll survive there! Silas coming in strong. The plan of Johnny Sins is not coming in really strong right now. Yeah, no, it ain't. Really, not at this point. Really good stuff for, uh, for Johnny Sims here. You know what's the problem? The problem is that Nautilus, he didn't pick the astronaut skin. They're not staying true to the nature. They're not showing case. <laughs> They're not showcasing the astronaut um, Johnny Sims. They're not showing the teacher Johnny Sims. They're not showing all his careers. That's why they're losing right now. All is choose the astronaut for Nautilus. Regardless, they are still uh, making an attempt as Ultraman is at least maintaining some stability down at mid lane against the Clad. Now, do you think uh, Johnny Sims are uh, going to be able to make up this deficit over the next couple of minutes, or do you think they're going to be really far behind going yeah. up against four pros and a noob? With a 5 kill, but while giving away 5 kills, this is not going to be easy for Johnny Sims to make this turnaround. Especially when we, if we consider, again, the skill level. Um, all 5 of the members from 4pin will be able to dominate their correspondent opponent. So, for now, I can only wish that the Ellis will be able to come in with a strong engage, will be able to snowball their... Uh, at least we'll have to step up and win the game for Johnny Sims here. Alright. Ooh, cause that needs to lands a very good uh, re response to deny all the damage coming in from the Silas. Ooh. Rek'Sai being in the KFC region goes oh in for God. a knockup. Ultraman being in a position where he will not be able to survive for long as Nagji takes down Ultraman. Ooh, Kazenitsuo Ooh, is getting Kazenitsu. jumped. Oh Stays God. in the region and takes full damage. Will die over to the Silas. Not a very good start for Johnny Sims at the moment. <laughs> a lot of the viewers on my stream are calling it out, but has Ran fallen asleep because we are hearing nothing from him as of now? I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to find some words uh, to say because I'm really out of words of what the Johnny Sims are going through. Are really <laughs> okay, just emotions going in very strong. Six, uh, level six, Rek'Sai oh, against a level four. At least, at least would not be able to survive there. This is just yeah. going downhill very quickly for Johnny Sims. <laughs> yeah, I see this Again, way. now look at uh, Joker. They're making an engage onto perfect ADC there. Oh, we're moving back to oh Tarlane because Zenitsuo is being engaged upon. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, Joker Love lands a huge amount of spears before pulling the Ren on the Kai'Sa. Two more shots will do it. And Kalista secures the kill. Meanwhile, at top though, it was a two v one situation, and because uh, Kazen Nitsuo will be uh, would, uh, came up top of the situation. So if we go back here, Rek'Sai comes in with um, a strong engage, but a little bit of a misplay will take a little bit too much of tank, uh, turret damage, and hands over kills over to the Pantheon. Well, hopefully this gives them the the idea to not ever die for pen, especially when his uh, shield is up. Jeez, this is not even like <laughs> so Don't ever do that. I've been, I've died so many times countlessly because my jungle wants to die for Pantheon with his shield up. Hey, you and call it out, but if you're not gonna learn, are they? <laughs> I don't think they're gonna learn as well. Um, but uh, maybe dive him from the back because he's only protected in the front. Ah, uh, right. Thing. It really falls onto how you play it out, yes. 
Alright, so they are making a switch now. Pantheon going to the mid and Ultraman heading to top. Hopefully this uh, uh, this little swap will be able to stabilize the game as the game goes on because right now it is a 7,000 uh, uh, gold the difference right now. Ooh, Silas going in strong on Ultraman. Ultraman tries to retaliate but will not be able to fight for long. Good knock up. Oh no, get oh. stolen! My God. Meanwhile, at least comes in to secure the kill onto Silas. It's a one for one, but who wins? It's really hard to say. But it starts. It starts here. At least did get a huge shot down goal there. Maybe from here she'll be able to get her item spike, and from there on again, you she'll be able to deal more damage coming in for for more pickoffs. Kaze and Nitsu are in a not so fun position. Luckily, Kaisa takes one hit, one turret hit a little bit too much here. Ooh, just emotion gets stunned under the turret range and will again give another oh. kill over to Kaze and Nitsu. A good play by the Pantheon. Oh, a hook coming in from Eternity. Nick G starts the attack a little bit too early, takes a little bit of turret damage, will, but uh, manages to convince Scar to come back to him and will be able to get away from that fight. Honestly, right now the turret deaths are not really looking well for the side of uh, of uh, sorry uh, of four pin right now because uh, you know the, the two people died just because of the turret itself. They they're not really in, uh, getting the damage uh, the not damage output. So I think they should really stop on. Trying to go for this ballsy play and this, you know, get focus on objective actually. Like I get your hit, but don't really go for this kind of ballsy play. You know, flip the, the 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 odds over. A little overconfident. Oh, mm -hmm. Zack SC coming in very strong, but decides to back off. Meanwhile, at bot lane, Kaisa gets comboed up and taken apart. Get sends another a little gift over to the Callista. <laughs> I like how you phrase it. A little gift over to Callista. It, it definitely what it is right now. Every every kill given over is a gift. I mean, it just doesn't seem like Johnny Sims is putting out any any much uh, any any good fight. I'm sorry, that's what I was trying to say, you know. And I oh, meanwhile at to top, I'm gonna have to stop you. Oh, okay, never mind. You can continue. <laughs> oh no no, it, it, that, that was a moment there. Uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, I'm trying to find a lot of things to say about Johnny Sims, uh, but I can't. I can't find anything. Yeah, they're, they're just in a position where it's a little bit too hard. And look at this, Eternity wants to go hard on uh, the Silas. But, uh, sorry, not the Silas, the Clan rather. But the team wasn't there. Right now, it is a 2v1 and slowly turning into turning it around. It is now a 4 versus 3. At least pulling off a good Rapple going up. But what comes up must come down and he will come down to her death. Now G tanking the turret for a little bit. Joker, love, being a good teammate, gives himself... Uh, gives, gives his teammate a little bit of a heal, keeping him alive. I gotta give it up, uh, give it up for Nak G, uh, who knew exactly when to go in and, and stick with the turret to knock it down before going away with a pixel health. <laughs> Very risky, but like, you know, a lot of balls. Heart, heart, heart of the team, he believed in his Kalista and killing him, and he, he did, did just that. There we go, three towers so far for uh, for pros and one noob. This is certainly not going too well for the Johnny Sims. Uh, although Kaisa is a late game character, or at least mid to late game character, she hasn't even finished her uh, Mana Mune at this point. And she, after even after she finishes the Mana Mune, she needs at least five to ten more minutes before she finishes stacking up for the Muramana. So this is not gonna be an easy game for Johnny Sims. But, but they really don't have a choice. Once they lock in on the Pantheon and Elise, they already locked in themselves to more engages, more fights, more picks. So let's hope they'll be able to find these good fights for their side. Ditto. Uh, meanwhile, um, the Rift Hero is handed over to uh, the red team for Pin. I don't can see eternity, eternity here just uh, walking across the jungle, clearing up the tunnels. Uh, meanwhile, four pin making an advance, uh, ooh, aggressive advance, moving in. Oh, eternity gets hooked 
will not be pulled back in set. Ooh. A little bit of a misplay and he gives himself oh up God. to 4 pin. Ultraman playing against the Silas is not having too much of a fun time. Wants to back off but he stays a little bit too long. Ooh, Brum goes in and down goes the Glacier. At least being taken down again. Perfect ADC. Trying to get away from just Emotion. Emotion lands the Q. Goes in for the ultimate and will give a, uh, will give a little bit of a parting gift as he dies. Uh, if, if he flops down. I mean, okay. that was a worthy dive. I mean, he lost his, his... He got killed, but, you know, it was worth it. <laughs> it was worth Nautilus it. making a little bit of an attempt here. Oh, Kanizuo jumping onto the Kalista under the turret will be taken down. Now, Nagji a little bit behind in the enemy team uh, backline. Oh, meanwhile, Silas takes down the Nautilus. And Nagji is ignored and will be able to run. Now, the team goes, looks upon the Silas and tears him down almost instantaneously as teamwork makes dream work. <laughs> teamwork makes dream work. You're filled with catchphrases. Oh, oh coming guys. in very strongly. Pantheon jumping in, hopping upon the Yordle, mm. strips the little critter apart. They are making a strong comeback as of now. Yeah, we definitely need more of that. Go? Yeah. You, you see the shutdown go that's been given towards uh, the uh, Johnny Sims here. It's going to be really, really. It's going to have a high chance of them you know, coming back, you know, pulling off a uh, redemption out. Although that oh, might be true, although that might be true, um, Johnny Sims is still under a twelve thousand gold deficit. Oh man! It, although right now the current gold income is pinpoint towards the correct members, the Pantheon, the Elise, but they need to start giving it to the Kaisa. The Kaisa is going to be the late game um, carry right now. <laughs> if you can see in the pings, the Johnny Sims are rather tilted and they're just spamming pings everywhere right now. <laughs> Ultraman Ultimate get stolen got stolen by the Silas. Silas calls the horn of the Orn will not be able to finish it, but he needs none of it as he jumps in and clears a double kill. Now going for the third Kaze, Nitsuo will drop to Nagji and they will secure another turret again. Oh, for pin, recognizing that they can end this game. Look, they are being kind to us shot casters <laughs> as they are looking forward. Maybe not because they see a target, they take down the target. They clean up another kill upon eternity and they will end the game right here for us tonight. Thank you so much for pros and one noob. <laughs> I mean, we didn't have to extend our, our shift to overtime, but like, you know, they, uh... They're giving us a, a little... They're giving us the, uh, the early leave <laughs> so we can focus <laughs> uh, on tomorrow. Get that a good night's sleep, you know? Although, I don't know if I'm going to get a good night's sleep. I just we walked still... out a whole cup of coffee, so I'm going to be out for a couple of hours. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we are going yeah, to have... That one. Yeah, definitely, because we still have two more games coming up. Don't leave just yet, viewers, because we have two more games coming up. I totally forgot. Thanks for reminding me, guys. So, <laughs> on the next game, um, as John is setting it out right now, so the next game will be between the Gift Internet Cafe against the Johnny Sims. The Sims are not out yet. They will play another game later against the Gift Internet Cafe, and maybe they can make a comeback. Interesting. Yeah, exactly. So if we look at uh, everything here, the total damage to champions isn't really that different. So you see the Pantheon coming in very strong, almost on par with the enemy team. But if we hover over it, it's still a 4,000 damage difference. And he, being the only carry of the game, the Pantheon did come in very strong. Alone, this is a team game. Alone, you won't be able to do too much. And 4-pin was just a little bit too strong for the, Johnny Sims to make uh, to play around with. I, yeah. I honestly think that uh, Johnny Sims had the chance of actually winning. Uh, from play, from, uh, both of the skill levels are quite similar. But I think the early 5-man uh, uh, ace was uh, really a disaster, a disaster in the making for them. And uh, yeah, I think that was a bit unfortunate for them to go through that kind of uh, early game. And uh, best of luck for the next game. <laughs> Best of luck to them. But I agree with you, Ryan. I mean, like part of uh 
competing in tournaments is con 